With graphics like that, this guy must work out. How's it going, folks? Coming to you from the workshop this evening. I'm going to do a little overview on air compressors for handyman projects. Um, so I'll kind of go over these. These are the ones that I have used the longest. I've owned several different versions. I've owned little pancake compressors made by other manufacturers, um, Hitachi air compressors. I've owned a little bit of everything. These are the ones that have held up the longest and the ones that I still use. So um, first one here is a little Craftsman. This actually came on a cart and I bought this when I first started in business. Um, it was out of commission for about three years. I got in a wreck and uh, totaled my truck, threw my tools all over the interstate. This thing went bumbling down the interstate after my truck flipped upside down. Um, and I didn't touch it for a long time, but I found out here recently it still works. So I still use it on occasion. It's a nice little air compressor. One thing you will learn about air compressors, this actually has an oil fill. So the ones that are sealed, so you don't put any oil in them, they're just sealed from the factory where you can't oil them, are usually just considered throwaway compressors. So they're good for, most contractors will tell you a couple years, and then it's basically a throwaway compressor. Your lower, cheaper air compressors usually are sealed units. Um, and usually the more expensive the air compressor, the more likely it is to be a, an oiled unit that you fill up with oil. So this was an oiled unit. It's got a sight glass down here. I lost the plug in an accident, so I've just got a bolt shoved in there now, and it's just enough to hold the keep the oil from coming out. But it's a good little oil compressor. It's got two ports on it. You can tell it has been heavily used and abused over the years, but it still works. The one I use on all my job sites is this DeWalt. Um, dual port. This is a sealed unit as well, um, but I have used it for probably four or five years now, and I haven't had any issues with it. Um, it is, let me see if I can find a model number on it. It's nice, it folds, sets down, um, so you can set the air compressor down. The one thing I will say about it is the um, cord. So there's your model number on it. I think they still make this. Right here was probably my biggest problem with this. Um, I've had this, I've replaced the cord twice, and then I have had to undo this box. There's only one screw that holds it on right down here take this box off and reseat the plugs on it. So the plugs, the three wires that go inside to the connector in here <clears throat> are just slip-on plugs. So I found going on job sites, I'd plug it in, nothing would happen. <clears throat> and it ended up being that one of those wires had come loose. So you may run into that as well. They need to really redesign this somehow, make that to where it doesn't wiggle as much. But it's a good air compressor. I use it on job sites all the time um, and uh, works like a champ. The one I use in my shop is this Husky. I have had this for about three years now. Um, I wanted a large air compressor to where I could run a bead blast or sand blaster, some other high velocity tools in my shop. And this little Husky has been a nice little unit. I uh, don't know. I think there's a model number on it here. Yeah. They make several different sizes of these. Um, Christmas time, Black Friday, they go on sale. So you usually get a pretty good deal on them about then. But I've got it rigged up in my shop with a couple hoses on it. And uh, works like a champ. I keep, like I said, too, I keep this one in my work trailer use most of the cordless stuff on the back of my truck for my daily jobs. And then if I'm doing a big project in the shop or working on a car or something, I use this bigger compressor. So <clears throat> let me know if you found other air compressors that work for you. Like I said, I've used several manufacturers over the years, and uh, these seem to be the ones that work the best for me, at least at this point in time. So thank you all for watching. This guy needs to be a poster child for birth control. If you like that video, hit subscribe.